Hi there, I'm Joey. I'm Jacob. And we are watching Star Trek for the first time. Last time on Star Trek, the return of the Klingons, or, or one, one Klingon. One Klingon. There's one Klingon. And one um, more ship with unspecified number. Indeed. Um, uh, today we're watching an episode called The Deadly Years. The Deadly Years. Deadly that sounds years. fun. Which, so yeah, it sounds really cool, actually. It could um, be like, I don't know, I got a couple ideas what this could be. I doubt any of them are correct. Uh, I've rattled one off to me. Um, it could be like another time travel episode. Oh, the, ooh, that's, I didn't even think about that. That could be cool. And it could specifically be like a time travel episode to look back to like the 90s. Mm, that could be fun. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Uh, see, you see, I that's why I don't know. That's why I don't think it's I, true. Yeah, yeah. But it could be like a time it travel episode. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, uh, I guess we'll find out. We're about, get, blah, blah, blah. we're about to get into post episode thoughts in a second. Be sure to join us then. Uh, we're about to watch The Deadly Years. Oh man, at long last, the shirtless Shatner count continues. Um, I mean, not, not, not that it's been a while since the last one, it was two episodes ago, but like, I just, I feel like they're making up for lost time now. Yeah. I know, that, um, that or they realize the kind of gold mine they've got. Exactly, come on, why would you not make use of 60s William Shatner? This is weird. Anyway, this is a very weird time <laughs> to begin with. <laughs> anyway, um, okay, that was okay. It was fun. Yeah, yeah. You, you pointed out, like, the plot could have been different, more streamlined, mm -hmm. I think. Yeah, yeah. Because we spend a lot of time, and we'll, we'll talk about it, obviously. We spend a lot of time, though, to, uh, with uh, the effects of the problem and not how to solve the problem. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it, it's really weird, because, like, it, I don't know, everyone just kind of accepts their fate once they all start aging, and it's like, well, I don't know why, like... It, I don't know, clearly, considering it didn't affect Chekhov, and they find that very weird, there's gotta be a way to counteract it, or a reason it didn't work that you could, like, use towards finding a cure. No, instead it seems like everyone's like, and this is the plot now. This is it, we're all just gonna die. Until, you know, like, the last ten minutes when we realize, oh, wait, we could use what Chekhov did to help us out. And that's, that's it. That is it. Um, it's a fine enough episode, though. Um, it has some surprisingly dark moments, but also a fair few like comedic moments as well. Sure, it's, it's reasonably uh, balanced, but they know where to play their cards. Yeah, the whole opening is uh, is pretty dark with, with Chekhov finding the body and all that. Um, and, you, and you meet Robert Johnson and, and Eileen and all that. Um, Who you will swiftly know they die. Yes, yeah, they die very shortly afterwards. And, um, they're aging, and then the, all the people that beam down to the planet start aging, except for Chekhov, because Chekhov was scared. Yeah, <laughs> well, they say it's just the adrenaline that stopped the... Yeah. What, what, what ends up being the aging radiation, I'll yeah. call it. which is... That doesn't work. <laughs> Listen, I can buy it enough to watch it for 50 minutes. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean... Okay, so like I said, like, dark moments and funny moments. Um... Of, of the people that are aging here, McCoy is the funniest. Oh god, but yeah. <laughs> I have the the dialogue here quoted in my notes. Um, uh, I forget under what context this is, this is even. But uh, uh, Sp uh, Spock says he wants to not be as cold. Mm. Oh yeah, to which McCoy says, "Well, I'm just an old country doctor," and uh, and, and and Spock says, "As I always suspected," <laughs> <laughs> which. It's just oh my god! It's just so much fun. DeForest Kelly is 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 an absolute treasure. I <laughs> love whenever he slips into that country sounding accent. Yeah, oh my god, I love him. He's so good. Um, yeah, really great stuff there. Um, and then some surprisingly sad moments too, because Kirk is one of the people that starts to age. And um, first off, earlier on in the episode, we met uh, this this old lover of his uh, named Janet Wallace, who's a doctor, and she's, she helps him out in the end. Um, but when he starts aging, she continues to hit on him, and I guess we learn it's because her husband was 26 years older than her. Right. So it's more like it's fulfilling... Like sort of like the dream for her, you know? Yeah, it's it's a weird moment. Kind of like kind of like if he stopped aging right there, it'd be perfect. Yeah. Um. And Kirk calls that out, and he gets like pissed off about it. And then like continuing the, those like moments, um, Kirk like starts to like starts to like lose his memory. He, he's, he's forgetting things. Yeah, and, he's just becoming old. Yeah, he's, he's giving orders twice and all that, and signing papers twice and all that, because he just forgot that he did it. There's a um, scene where he falls as falls asleep in the captain's chair. Yeah, and uh, there's this guy with them, uh, Commodore Stalker, who um, who was called in, I guess, when the age, the, the aging thing started to happen. Um, and he uses that from base ten. Star base ten, yeah. Um, 
And so he, uh, he, he decides to, like, hold a competency hearing for Kirk. Um, and I don't know, I, I just, I, I, I like Shatner's performance there a lot. Because I've told you as we were watching it, I was a little worried that that scene was going to delve into sort of like, a, oh, well, Kirk's the main character, and Kirk is right about everything, so he's going to be right about this. But no, like, you poke holes in his character here and, like, show, like, why he actually is not fit to, um, to run the ship right now. Because he, yeah, he's just doubling down, uh, and then when he he's eventually questioned about, it, he's like, okay, well here, well we are orbiting whatever planet it is, and he says the wrong number, um, and you get and, this look from Spock, who obviously who doesn't usually show emotion. He doesn't really show emotion in like the normal sense, mm -hmm. but Spock looks saddened that this is that even Kirk can't hold up his own argument. Yeah, yeah, and, and Kirk just, he just sort of like breaks down and he gets like so pissed off with him, he's relieved of his duty and, um, you made a funny joke though, actually. <laughs> um, he's in his quarters and, um, and Wallace and Spock go to see him. Spock walks away and after like, Kirk is like pissed at him for letting, letting like Stalker take command. Yeah. He, uh, you're like, it's the thing from Mirror Mirror, he opens yeah. up into his wall and he goes to kill <laughs> Spock. <Right. laughs> Funny. That wouldn't be the first. That, would, that wouldn't be the only weird call out made, not by me, but in the episode. Yes, yeah, yeah. Um, but I'm gonna bring that up later though, because first I want to mention probably the darkest moment in the whole episode that gets completely forgotten about. Um, of the crew that gets taken down to the to the planet where they all start to age. Um, there's this uh, there's this uh, random blue shirt there uh, named Galway, um, and she's one of the first to like start aging on the ship. And at one point she just fucking dies. Yeah, in Kirk's arms! It's a really grim moment, and then it's just never brought up again. At all. And we only save all the main characters. Right? And it's pretty horrible. Like, she didn't actually have to die for the point to be made. Yeah, like, cool, dark moment to really hammer home how serious this is, and then just dropped, which is just bad. Just, just bad writing, in my right? opinion. Right? I'm with um, you. I'm, I think... I th you could have had the same level of, oh crap, yeah, without the death. Yeah. Um, Shatner's performance at times also was just really funny too. I don't know. I'm thinking of that scene in particular when he's trying to reason with Spock and he's mm -hmm. like, Spock, just listen to me. I don't know, it's just funny. Yeah. Um, uh, also, um, it was last episode we had Klingons and we mentioned in the episode before that in Journey to Babel that we caught up with Klingons and Romulans. We get Romulans in this episode, sort of. We don't see them. We see their sort of. ships. We see their ships. Uh, there's an attack and, and Stalker doesn't know how to deal with it until we come up with our miracle drug to save Kirk and all the aged people. So Kirk comes up and he's all young and shit and he takes right. command. And he proves why he's the main character. Yes. Why he's the, not even why he's a good captain. Why he's the main character. Because he comes in and he literally just does Corbomite maneuver again on the Romulans. <laughs> right. And it works. And that's that. <laughs> and, uh... And, and uh, the thing from Starbase 10, he's like, yep, now I see what... I see what it takes to be a uh, commander of a starship. I, I understand that now. I'm only, I'm only a starbase commander, but you are a starship commander. That makes you better than me. Even and though I'm just, a higher rank. <laughs> it's a weird fucking moment. I don't know. Um, and that's that. And then... Uh, get our little zinger Seymour McCoy like ah oh, I've made a, a special uh, Vulcan uh, cure for you it's and, more potent yeah and I've taken all the breakables out of the out of the office or whatever it is <laughs> I don't know it was just funny and and, um, and Spock is like eat the way yeah it was just funny um, good, good episode though I, I don't know I, I enjoyed it but just I didn't love it I guess yeah I didn't love it there's moments in the episode where I'm, I would have streamlined some parts like like you called out like when everyone starts getting afflicted Mm -hmm. Like it's uh like the one like the, the one who dies, she her hearing starts to go. Yeah. And McCoy's like, ah, it's nothing. Yeah. Kirk goes he and with his like aching muscle, he goes, ah, it's probably just a uh, like a pinch. Yeah. It, like it, everyone's yeah. ignoring the obvious signs. Like you, you early have on. people that have aged rapidly dying on your ship, and you don't find this weird at all. Right. Like I would have streamlined that part. Yeah. Sure, and some others, but overall fine. Yeah. Anyway, um, that was De The Deadly Years. It was okay. Um, be sure to join us next time when we continue Star Trek The Original Series. Until then, this has been Joey Morgan. I'm Jacob. Goodbye.